Okay, so who's read the new Saturday Morning Adventures Dungeons and Dragons? The story's called Prisoner of the Deep, written by David M. Boer and Sam Mags. Well, I'm not convinced it ever actually watched Dungeons and Dragons. Because some of the um, characterizations don't seem quite right, to be honest. Um, Hank seems like a very angry individual, which isn't his personality in the show, which is this is based on. And Dungeon Master appears for no reason other than to make some joke about snacks. But also I'd like to have seen it drawn in a similar style to that of the TV show. There's nothing wrong with the actual style itself. If you bought any other comic book and you, it was in this particular style, you wouldn't have a problem with it. But this is based on something that already has an existing aesthetic. All the publicity for this issue was based on the retail incentive cover which stylistically is much closer to that of the animated show which this is based upon whereas obviously the actual cover that you have is based on the artwork within the book most people would have wanted it to look more like the cartoon my major criticism though is that the story is only actually 20 pages long and this features three two-page spreads and um, the story doesn't really get going anywhere just kind of sets up for the next issue. Will I be buying the next issue though? Um, yeah, of course I will. I was absolutely obsessed with this show as a kid and it's amazing now that 40 years on we're getting action figures and comics based on this very much loved show. One interesting thing you do learn though is that the children aren't all the same age. I'd always assumed that they were uh, except for Bobby, obviously, because he is Sheila's brother. Um, but yeah, they are different ages. Um, Hank and Eric are of the same age, both the older children. Possibly why there was always a slight power struggle between them. 